Now let's move on to the next question. The diagram shows a rhombus A, B, C, D. The points B and D have the points coordinates 2, 10, and 6, 2, as we can see right here. Now, we know the midpoint of BD is M right here, so we can find M pretty easily. M is the midpoint. That will be x1 plus x2, that will be 8 divided by 2 will be 4. y1 plus y2, that will be 12 divided by 2 will be 6. So this is the midpoint M of the rhombus. Okay, so now next thing we have to find the point A. How can you find A? As you can see, A is on the x-axis. On the x-axis, we know the value of y will be 0. But anyways, the main thing here we have to understand is that if you were to join the points A, M, C, the I, straight line, at 90 degrees to the line BD. So we have to first find the equation of the line AM. So to find the line AM, we have to find this gradient. And as we can see, we can first find the gradient of BD. That will be simply y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That should be minus 8 over 4, and that will be minus 2. From this, we can derive the gradient of AM will be the value of, of plus half. Now we have the point, um, so we have the uh, gradient of AM. We have the passing point of M, which is 4, 6. We can find the equation. That will be Y minus 6 over X minus 4 have to be half. Cross multiply, you will have 2Y minus 12 have to be X minus 4. 2Y has to be X minus 4 plus 12. So you have 2Y have to be X plus 8. So this will be the equation of AM. Now we have to find this point of intersection. On the x-axis the value of y will be 0. That will be x plus 8. So x will be minus 8. So the point A will be minus 8 and 0. This is minus 8. Now to find the point C is pretty easy as well. We just have to use vector displacement. For example, from the point A to go to M we have to because we understand that AM is the same length as MC. So M going to M, this is uh, the value of 4 here, and the height is 6. So we have to move 12 and 6. So A to go to M, move 12 and 6. So same thing, M to go to C, we have to move 12 and 6. So by vector displacement, 12 and 6. Now by comparison, so here we have the point M is given to you by 4, 6, so move 12, that will be 16, 6 plus 6, that will be 12. So this is the point C by vector displacement will be 16, 12, and that will be the question in regards to geometry.